Determine the centroidal x-axis moment of inertia for the triangular area. Here's the answer. So what you would do is shift the origin of our coordinate system from this lower corner up to where did we shift it to? The centroid. Right, that's right. So if you shift it to the centroid, this is the location of x equal to 0. In, if this distance is still b, what is the x location of this point right here? And what is the x location of that point right there if the centroid is at 0? It's not going to be b anymore, is it? This distance is b from here to there. So this location in x is, come on now, 2 thirds b. What is the location of this point in the x? Negative 1 third b, right? Okay, same thing. In the y, the total height h is given. And so this is plus 2 thirds h for this location of y. And for that location of y, it's negative one-third h. So if I wanted to calculate i of uh, x centroidal, then it's the integral of y squared dA, and I'm using this new coordinate system, which is a centroidal coordinate system, and I basically go and I find what is my strip area right there. So what is dA? Well, if the other one was hard, this is really hard. Algebra manipulation. Because basically you could get the equation for a straight line. Once you have an equation for a straight line, then resolve it for x is a function blah, blah, blah of y. And then dA would be that distance x as a function of y plus one-third height because this is one-third, not one-third height, one-third base. No, no, it's one-third height. Uh, no, no, it's one, what the hell am I doing? It's one-third base, one-third base. It's this distance right here. That's one-third base times dy. So the hard part is getting x for that straight line edge as a function of y. All right. Well, I did work it out, and I'm sure you could work it out too. It takes a while. And you can get that this location x is equal to b times 1 third minus y over h. OK. So once we have that, then uh, we can plug into the equation y squared, and then we'll have b times one third minus y over h plus one third b. You could simplify that, surely, some more, because isn't that one third b and one third b go add up to two thirds b times dy, the integral y, where's the lowest value of the integration for y? Negative h over 3, and then it goes up to positive 2 thirds h. And when you do that integral, you get 136 base height cubed. Um, here is basically the equation for the dA. I'll check it using an area integral. Notice the limits on the area integral. Negative one-third h up to two-thirds h. That area integral comes back correctly, one-half base height. And then you ink, um, uh, add to this previous integral. Basically, all you have to do is add y squared to get that moment of inertia for that triangular area. The same limits. And you get 136 base height cubed.